Hi, Dr. Rich here. Stick around. Today I'm going to talk about the kinds of needles that dentists use. So what's a big reason why people hate going to the dentist? I think a big reason that people are scared to go to the dentist is because they're scared of needles. So today I'm going to show you and talk about the various needles dentists use so that next time you go to the dentist, you don't have to be as scared. Needles come in different sizes and measured in gauges, just like electrical wire or shotguns, if you're familiar with either of those. Generally, the larger the gauge number, the smaller the needle. And conversely, the lower the gauge number, the thicker the needle. So years ago, the needles that dentists use were reusable. So because of that, they had to be thicker. They needed to be thicker so that they could be cleaned in between patients and also so they could be sharpened as well. But during the 1940s and 1950s, that started to change uh, when companies came out with disposable needles. Disposable needles are one-time use. So because of that, they could be made much thinner without having to worry about breaking from repeated usages. And also, they come pre-sharpened from the factory with a very fine point on them. Because of that thinness and the sharpness of the point, they generally only tend to stay sharp for one use. That's why if you ever go to the dentist and he, they're going to inject you in multiple spots, if they're gonna work on more than one tooth, ask them to use a fresh needle for each spot. That way, it's nice and sharp every time. In dentistry though, it's not the size of the needle, but how you use it. The first step is to use some topical anesthetic. You know, that's that funny tasting stuff that numbs the back of your throat. It does work, but there's a couple tricks to it. First step is to wipe the gum and dry it off before you place it. The second step is to let it sit there for a couple minutes so that it has a chance to work. And let your dentist know that the topical anesthetic comes in different flavors. My patients seem to like buttered rum and pina colada the best. Once the dentist does give you a shot, the key to it is to inject slowly. That way you're not stretching the tissue and causing a lot of pressure buildup in your gum. Without that pressure buildup, it's much more comfortable and by injecting slowly, the anesthetic gets a chance to start to work and kind of numb that area up as it's still being administered. If you inject it too fast, the Novocaine will stretch the gum tissue out and that's gonna be very painful. So we here, we have the three main needles that I use uh, typically in normal day in my office. Uh, in addition to the, uh, what we call syringes, uh, this is the one I generally use 98% of the time, and then there's a specialty syringe right here. Uh, it looks like something out of a sci-fi horror movie uh, that's used in uh, just a couple circumstances. So basically, uh, the two main sizes that I use are the 27 gauge and a 30 gauge. So the 27 gauge This is a 27 gauge long needle. This one I generally use uh, when I'm numbing up a lower tooth, a lower back tooth. This is the, my go-to size that I use. It's, because it's long, it can reach way back where I need to numb the nerve. Uh, and also because it's so long, it's 27 gauge, so it's a little bit thicker, just to give it some extra strength uh, to reduce the risk of it breaking. The needle that I use uh, to numb upper teeth and lower front teeth is called, is a 30 gauge. It's a 30 gauge short needle. So it's a little bit thinner. It's a little bit thinner than the 27 gauge. And as you can see, it's a lot shorter too because to numb upper teeth and lower front teeth, 
uh, you don't need to insert the needle as far so it doesn't have to be as stiff so it could be thinner because the chances of it breaking are pretty much zero. The last gauge, the last needle I have is a 30 gauge as well. The difference being is that this one is extra short. Let me take the top off so you can see. You can see it's pretty short. This one is kind of a specialty needle. Generally, I don't use it on this syringe. I use it on this clicker syringe. In certain situations, somebody's got a hot tooth that won't go numb for normal reasons. We'll use this. Uh, this will let me deliver the Novocaine under a little bit more pressure. Lastly, this is a little bit thicker of a needle. This is a 16 gauge needle. This one, I don't use it to inject stuff. I use this uh, to perform the pinhole surgery. Uh, for to help treat gum recession. This is the actual needle that we'll use to make a little pinhole in your gum and Through that pinhole is how I do the surgical procedure Let's compare it to the uh, 27 gauge just to give you an idea of the differences so on the on the syringe that's a 27 gauge and the one on top, that's the 16 gauge. As you can see, quite a bit different. And then lastly, this is just the carpule. This is uh, the what actually contains the Novocaine. It's a little syringe, a little plunger. So you just insert it in the syringe, add the needle, and then you can inject away. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, only you can prevent cavities.